you're bringing home a Ridgeback, something you should definitely be thinking about is when you're gonna book them in for their vaccinations. And today, we can help with that. Welcome back to the Fenrir Ridgeback Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine needer here at FenrirCanineNeeders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Ridgeback and then how to become a high level canine needer so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Bringing home a Ridgeback is a very, very exciting day, but something you don't want to forget about is booking them in for their vaccinations. So what vaccination should they be getting and when should that be? Well, today we're going to be tuning into a webinar that the canine Canine behaviorist and founder of FenroeCanineEaters.com, Will, has recorded all about when you should be booking your dog in for its vaccinations. So then let's dive into today's webinar and we'll begin with the first set of jabs that your new puppy, most likely, will already have when you bring them home. Your puppy's core vaccinations, if you're buying a pedigree puppy especially, the breeder will provide you with a number of documents when you pick them up to help you with that. These should include the contract of purchase, your puppy's health certificate and their pet passport. Now, this passport should contain a list of all the treatments that they have received from their breeder's own veterinarian. These include the first complete set of vaccinations as well as treatments for inner and outer parasites. Typically, your breeder, uh, your breeder's vet, will have vaccinated the puppy puppies between around six and eight weeks of age. On the day you pick your puppy up, your breeder will most likely show you the date of the first set of jabs in that pet passport. They also may tell you to follow up with two sets of vaccination boosters. These boosters should be spaced apart 21 to 28 days from one another. Ideally, the recommended dates for the next jabs will already be marked in that passport for you. All you have to do is then contact your own vet and to make two appointments based on that, one for each set of those vaccination boosters. The second and third set of jabs, once 21 to 28 days have passed since the date of your puppy's first vaccination, and you will find yourself at the vet for that first booster. Now, typically, this includes the most common diseases like uh, distemper, hepatitis, and parvovirus. Usually, all three of them are injected in one injection. By that time, your dog will probably be around 12 weeks old, and this same injection will be repeated around the age of 16 weeks if you do the third one. Some vets recommend an additional booster vaccination when the dog is 20 weeks old. Now, on top of these two jabs, the vet will vaccinate against rabies, usually again between 12 and 16 weeks. Other optional vaccinations include things like for lepto, bordetella and Lyme disease. Again, ask your veterinarian which of these optional jabs that they recommend, as their necessity may depend on the region you live in and your lifestyle. So I know that might be confusing, but let's look at a really simple approximate schedule for your puppy's trips to the vet clinic. So that vet visit number one will be with your puppy around 12 weeks of old. The, there they'll get their first set of vaccination boosters. There'll be a vet visit number two around 16 weeks old. Now, with that one, the second set of boosters are applied, if recommended by your vet. You can then go for number three at 20 weeks old. So you might be wondering how much it'll cost you. Now, whilst it is true that vet bills can reach astronomical heights, you don't have to become the victim of unexpected healthcare costs for your puppy. And even if your puppy develops a health condition that requires veterinary care on top of that regular vaccination schedule, you can safeguard against that financial risk. Simply invest in a good, solid and reputable pet insurance. I recommend you research the various options available in your country and register your puppy with the insurance before you even bring them home. In this way, you can devote your attention to your puppy's recovery instead of having to worry about how to pay all those bills because it'll be covered by the insurance. Now, with that being said, let me give you a rough estimate about those vaccination fees for the average puppy in the first, say, 16 weeks of their lives. Now, assuming you get the dog at eight weeks of age and they only require two sets of core vaccinations, and assuming that your puppy is otherwise healthy and only needs these standard jabs, Consultation fees are around $60, you need that twice. And jab core vaccines are around $75, so again, you'll need that twice. Rabies vaccination is around $20. So this all adds up to around $290 in expenses for vaccinations up to 16 weeks of age. Now, with no pet insurance in place, you still will have to pay that, usually if you have pet insurance or not. 
So this wraps up the discussion on what age and what jabs your puppy will need. As we mentioned, vaccinations are not the only expense you'll be facing with a young dog. They will also need to receive medication against internal and external parasites. What we said in this video is designed to give you just a simple overview and try and make it simple because I know for especially for first time owners, it can be quite difficult. As always, we recommend that you speak to your local veterinarian around which jabs and other treatments are advisable for your puppy in your area. So I hope you enjoyed that webinar and got some information and education and some value from it that's why we do these i hope you enjoyed it and i can't wait to speak to you on the next one there you have it guys some really useful information from will there all about when you should be booking your dog in for its vaccinations i really hope you enjoyed today's video if so get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear from you don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have two dedicated videos coming here every single week so i can't wait to see you in the next episode of the fenrir ridgeback show